Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday Night Bites, where I snack on Tuesdays. Uh, sorry about the noise in the background. I have my 3D printer going, so I'm in my other room. I'm in my comfy chair, and yeah, I'm still in quarantine. It is the fourth week, I believe, so this is another quarantine snack, and it's a simple one. Today, I am going to be eating Bazooka Joe. Now, I have a particular soft spot in my chest for gum but especially bazooka joe because um i don't know why or how it started but i keep a jar of it on my desk and when i sit down to write or i'm having a hard time processing something i'm working on i always chew on a piece of bazooka joe i had it as a kid and i really like it it has the perfect consistency, in my opinion, to blow bubbles, and it's been around for quite some time, so I like that as well, but it comes in a little bar like that. You're going to chew it, and one thing I really like about Bazooka Joe is on the inside of the wrapper, they have fun little things. Um, so this is like a riddle. Say these words out loud to figure out the phrase they sound like. So it says, Fizz, Ick, All, Ed, Jockey, Shun. So it's supposed to say physical education. So it's just kind of cool like that. Sometimes there's comics. Sometimes there ad there's ad-libs. It kind of reminds me of the old school Cracker Jacks that have the little prize on the inside. But being a kid, I remember loving these things. Definitely cool to keep in your pack, in your pocket, on the go. Just a cool little... Um, piece of gum to chew on. And you can blow bubbles with them too. Of course, I haven't chewed it enough. It really makes your mouth water as well. So if you're thirsty or your mouth is dry, definitely chew on one of these. Let's see if I could blow a bubble before I end this video. A little bit of one. Anyways, I'm not going to bore you with trying to blow a bubble. Thank you for watching Tuesday Night Bites. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Leave me snack suggestions in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you next week.